the state after Dem Senator calls for Trump's assassination. Who do these people even get elected into public office? A Missouri state senator by the name of Maria Chappelle Nadal, who is obviously a Democrat, posted a comment in a Facebook conversation Thursday morning saying she hoped President Donald Trump will be assassinated sooner rather than later. Of course, the comment has quickly been removed. But Chappelle Nadal confirmed that she had indeed written it in response to another comment before deleting it. As you can clearly see above this state senator clearly writes, I hope Trump is assassinated. In response to another commenter, Christopher Ganey, who said his cousin is serving on President Trump's Secret Service detail. But like any typical Democrat who gets caught, this hack later tried to deny it by stating that what she had said wasn't a reference to an assassination, but to an earlier statement made that Vice President Mike Pence will use the 25th Amendment to the Constitution to have Trump removed from office. Yeah, sure it was, especially since she later wrote no. I will. I hope Trump is assassinated. In response to Ganey's reply that he will get a visit from the Secret Service. In a later interview, Ms. Chappelle Nadal stated that her frustration with the president stems from his response to the violent protest clashes in Charlottesville, Virginia this past weekend. Sure it was, I am sure you loved President Trump up until then. These Democrats must really think we the people are a stupid bunch. The Blaze reports. Antifa wants combat training and firearms after losing the battle for Berkeley. Antifa wants combat training and firearms after losing the battle for Berkeley. Antifa members have begun discussions about arming themselves with better training and firearms after they were routed by Trump supporters during the Battle of Berkeley in California. Last week supporters of President Donald Trump clashed with members of the leftist group known as Antifa, short for anti-fascist in Berkeley, California. The meeting of the two groups soon erupted in violence, with Antifa using maze, M-80s, and various other weapons to attack Trump supporters. According to Rebel Media's Lawrence Othern, Trump supporters were told by police not to bring any weapons, as police would protect them. Upon Antifa's arrival, the police retreated, leaving the Trump supporters to utilize whatever weapons they could get their hands on. Regardless, the Trump supporters routed Antifa after one of their members threw a smoke bomb, not realizing the wind was blowing in Antifa's direction. This loss prompted Antifa members to begin discussion about how they could better prepare themselves for future skirmishes against Trump supporters. In the subreddit R, Anarchism, one Antifa member acknowledged the loss, and suggested that members find a way to become better organized and better trained. Another member agreed saying that too many of their comrades went into battle no combat training, and suggested they start seminars or something of that sort. This conversation continued, with suggestions for better equipment such as helmets and padding over the typical hoodie and face mask being worn. Another person on this R, Anarchism thread suggested they rally behind a leader who can organize and direct actions. The conversation soon turned to weapons, however, and one member in particular suggested they bring firearms. Not getting disarmed is a big part of the problem, yes, but we need more than flags and bats. We need to take notes from the John Brown Gun Club and get firearms and training. I know getting firearms in states and cities we have a presence in is usually a hassle, but even handguns would help. It would certainly put a psychological element in while holding fash back. Who do you think a fascist is more afraid of? People with only flags and bats, or people with flags, bats, and guns? Antifa is known for their willingness to use violence and intimidation to silence political and ideological opponents. An Antifa chapter at Clemson University, known as Upstate Antifa have made an effort to justify the violence and destruction committed against what they loosely base as Nazis and fascists. Recently. Antifa members inadvertently turned on one of their own after his mask was forcibly removed, spraying him with pepper spray, and hitting him with a skateboard as they retreated from pro-Trump marchers. Another instance of violence occurred while Trump supporters and Antifa were engaging in trash talk. One of Antifa's members used a bicock to strike a Trump supporter in the head without warning, causing him to bleed a good deal from his scalp. Okay, time to call a duck a duck. 
President Trump did the only thing possible in response to last weekend's violent protest. He called out both sides for the crap that they are. The white supremacists are an awful bunch of people, and so are Black Lives Matter and Antifa, who is currently training with firearms to come attack us peace-loving folks stuck in the middle of all this. Thank you for watching this video. What do you think about this? Share this on Facebook and Twitter along with your comments. Comments.